Salam sejahtera. Jo shang hao mai lai xia. And hello everyone. Welcome to the annual Osu Malaysia Top 10 Osu Standard Players Ranking. This year has been a time of great interest towards growth, with talents both new and old spiraling into the scene and making a name for themselves. All of them having the sole goal of aiming to be the very top of 2022. This is reflected with the insane variety of high octane scores set throughout this year. So what's more natural for us than to simply look back and see who we thought truly stood out amongst the rest? As per tradition with previous years, the public has voted for their top tens throughout the month of December last year, and we have tallied up all their votes to produce this top ten, made by the community and presented by the community. For more information on how the votes are tallied, please refer to the forum post related to the top ten. Links down below this video. And without further ado, let's get right into the list, starting with our two honorable mentions. Pengajar Awan 20 adalah suatu nama yang tidak asing lagi kepada komuniti Malaysia. Dia boleh dikatakan sebagai pemain aliran yang terbaik di negara. Dan walaupun dia tidak aktif pada tahun ini, dia telah menetapkan banyak skor untuk mengegalkan gelaran itu. Dimulai tahun ini dengan hampir kombo penuh dalam carta lagu maraton sepanjang 22 minit kepada mencetikkan banyak skor 900 pipi dan juga 1000 pipi dalam bitmap seperti kompilasi lagu Foreground Eclipse. Dia adalah seorang yang merendah diri dan selalu menimpan pencapaiannya tanpa diketahui ramai. Jadi pastikan anda memberi pandangan anda supaya tidak terlepas daripada skor-skornya pada masa yang akan datang. Mungkin pada tahun 2023, dia akan berhenti mengejar awan dan mulai mengejar bintang. He's a graphic designer, event organizer, and reliable staff member. He's the very person editing this video. Oh, I guess he's also okay at OS. Lewis is a full-time Tower Fantasy player who cannot control his urge to join OS tournaments. His tournament activity list is like an endless rail, joining more tournaments and picking up more teammates with every stop. Just go read the tourney spreadsheet on his profile. It's kind of crazy. He's one of the best in the country when it comes to reading. Finger control, aim control, and rushing graphics 20 minutes before the deadline. What sort of future will his reel lead to, and what anime will he ping me to watch next? I can only hope that it's good.
Coming in 8th place is Banner, a player who's been lighting up the 4 digit scene in Osu Malaysia as of recent. He's a player who's pushed his skill cap by leaps and bounds this year, setting impressive higher star rating scores and his first two 600 PP scores in Sidetrack Bay and Blue Zenith. Despite his position in this year's vote, make no mistake, Banner has taken on some of the best that Osu Malaysia has to offer, with his third place finish in one of the fiercest renditions of the tournament thus far, behind only Wuhua and Rampax. It is safe to say that he has proven his talent in both solo and tournament play, and he's definitely someone to look out for in the coming years. While not noticeable at first, SEP 2003 has been steadily improving throughout 2022, setting multiple 600 and 700 PP plays, albeit usually on private servers or with Scorry 2 on. Just looking at his user page will deceive you. He is one of the most scary tournament players to come up against due to his superior prowess in the double time and hidden department, passing through all opponents he has come up against. Maybe it's time for him to set some plays on Pancho, who knows. Rewoto has built an insane reputation as a speed prodigy within the last year in the Osu community, reaching 3 digits within the first 2 years of the creation of his account and setting insane scores on maps that are on par with the best of the best. Some of his notable plays are his FC on Snowstorm Euphoria with hidden double time, his 10 minutes run on I bet you forget that you even noticed that with double time, what? As well as his 3 minutes run on sidetrack days with hidden double time. Invest in this man as he's a rising prodigy with potential reaching all the way to the top. Congrats on Rewoto, super well deserves 6 spots on the list. First, Polka get undone! We are now entering the top 5 zone and we have Ariaversary at number 5. Once known as the VTuber Polka Omaru, he was banished into the Shadow Realm by the Osu screening staff during OMT 2021. And now he returned as Ariaversary. 
He is known for his amazing aim and slow aim ability, and his stamina is quite fast too with his multiple freedom dive scores. He fought hard this year with an amazing top play. Juvenile at the Axis Diff. I mean, look at all these other plays too. Tome, Allergy, and what the fuck? Painters in his top five. What? He's showcasing everything with free. Four may be the age you start watching Disney Junior. Four may also be the number of times you fail your exams. But in this video, four is the placement for Chiyu in this year's top 10 Osu awesome Malaysia players. Being one of the most active top players in Malaysia in 2022, not only that he set his first 600 PP play and other impressive scores, mainly in streams and hard rock, he also shows significant improvements in various tournaments. This includes being second overall match cost in OWC qualifiers as well as nearly defeating Shane Liang in a fairy tale like comeback in OMT 2022 finals. Personally, I expect and hope to see him break through even more as one of Malaysia's most versatile players in 2023. Once again, Uha finds himself at number 3. The Sagiri loving Weeb continues to maintain his top 3 status in the local rankings. He might not have been able to reclaim the throne this year, but he's still the king in many skill sets aside from hidden. I've seen both Frozen with hidden hard rock and two feeling dark map sets like his Kakizi, although he would experience a minor setback in his Honda game as he would lose to Rampax in the nail biting grand finals. He has shown that he's still in contention for the gold status and leagues above many in the seed, even if it costs his 100% win rate in the local tournament. The best part is, he hasn't even hit his skill ceiling yet and could go much further if he wasn't juggling his time countering virtual terrorists on the side. 
Only time will tell if you'll keep wooing us as he approaches his 10th year in the game. It is safe to say Rampex took his game to another level this year, most notably in the tournament scene, dethroning Wuhua and winning OMT, as well as finishing second in Oban. The race car remains as one of the top players in Malaysia, a stable member of the Malaysia team in the OSU World Cup, and is showing no signs of slowing down anytime soon.
well, who would have guessed who is the number one for this year? Down, damn! And I'm the one talking about him again, just like that. On honestly, is it gonna be fun if I say the same thing I did last year? Right? That's why this time is gonna be different. I brought one of his closest oomphies. I don't know what the hell oomphies mean, but he's gonna help me. Hey, bro. So, what do you think of Shimon? About who? Oh, you're talking about Valorant Edit Shimon. God, honestly, this guy mods the whole player base in 2022 and still shows so much potential to cap mod. His Dark Flight Dreamer score is just insane, bro. Even though he got cocked by Mark a bit on that fake Thomas bounty, I'm glad he's always pushing his limits, just shredding it out. More players should play like him, solely to improve at the game and ignore everything else, like piss low tournament. Oh man, I love this guy. Oh shit, I have to go. My oomphy Shimon is calling me for Valley now. Keep Shimon training everyone. Bye bye. My man goes back to Valley. <laughs> Alright, thanks Lifeline. Honestly, I totally did not make him say that fake promise bounty thing, by the way, but yeah, you heard it there. You heard it from the man himself. Damn. Can't wait to see Shimon go ham again this year, man. It's fucking go! Yeah.